Hey everybody, it's Marianne. I'm so glad you are back again and are excited to have you here. I really am. I got this little piggy. He's so adorable. So I'm going to play around in one of my, oops, sorry, in one of my little books that I have because um, <clears throat> I think I just want to I want to try this because it just looks so adorable. Look at him. Okay. Uh, again, we have all of these little rubber stamps, and it has. They have to be prepped. Um, the stamp stickies on the stamps were getting better with the newer products, so. I'm going to try one and see how it works, and if it works well, um, I'll just do it off camera and come back when they're all done. But let me just try one and see um, how it goes. How are you all doing out there? I'm hoping that you're enjoying your summer. Uh, this is being filmed in July of 2019. Oh, come on. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I didn't bring my garbage over. Oh well. All right, so in case you've missed any of it, um, the stickers, there's a, they tell you how to do it here. I'm going to do it this way. I've never really looked at it to see um, what they think you should do. And I take the side that has the paper on it and line that up as best I can and then keeping my finger there so that I don't mistakenly and I've done this where it's folded over especially with the little ones that's kind of hard and grab it grab the paper and then fold it back over and then just get on. Oh yeah, this one feels good. This one feels perfect. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and get that done and I will be back in one shakes of a little piggy's tail. Okie dokie, so we are back. And here's the little piggies. Here they are, all ready to go. Aren't they cute? Okay, so I'm gonna work on this page because it's flat. Um, this page I did a lot of uh, other work in this book so this is a um, <clears throat> who does this oh my gosh I can't even think of her name right Jane Davenport's um, books <coughs> and she has it where one side is uh, um, watercolor like paper and another one is a drawing paper. I think that's how she does it. Anyway, so I'm going to do my little little page stamping here and I'm using Rococo Rose on this side. Um, and I'm just stamping. Let's check them out. I could use a little, a little bit more. All right, let's see how it looks. And I'm going to Put this guy all the way into the corner here. So I need for you to come with me. And we just stamp, press down, hold it for a minute so that the ink absorbs. And then bring it straight up. And look, it's so cute. So cute. Oh, look at the little baby. Really clean lines. Nice, nice. All right. So, I'm going to pull you back so that you can see the whole page. Unfortunately, um, I get kind of focused into what I'm doing, and I sometimes don't realize I've left you out of the equation. So, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. It's sticking pretty good. I had a hard time opening that up there for a second. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to do a little, um, oh silly me. Do a little, I don't know, picture, sort of, kind of. Um, these little piggies. 
Can you see me? Oh my goodness. There we go. Much better. Hugs and kisses. Oh, that came out better. Even better. All right, we're getting there. Let's do another one. She believes she could. I really, really like this one. Um, there was a card I found when I was having some. I'm going to put her up into here. Um, just having some self self doubt. It's a um, just really having a hard time with with stuff, with life. And I found a card that was that had something like this. It was a woman, um, and it said she believed she could, and so she did. And the this has that stamp as well. And um, where to put it? Let's put it here. And it was a woman breaking through this this veil. Um, and I think it sort of symboli symbolized um, just all the things that we trap ourselves with, that we kind of. get stuck behind. One day maybe I'll show it to you. But right now I'm just having so much fun with this. You make me happy. This one reminds me of, I think it's the Geico commercial. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> but look, it's like, you make me so happy. He reminds me of the one that's hanging out the, uh, the window with the pinwheel. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what, what, yeah, that's, sometimes that's a problem, even though they may be, <laughs> they may be cute, you forget the, the premise behind the advertisement. All right, so I'm going off camera a little bit, maybe bring you down with me. This is a stamp that says, says thanks, so I imagine this could be on the outside, that could be on the inside. Uh, and then it looks like little kisses, 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 yep, kisses, and what else do we have here? Oh yeah, so even if, if it says this little piggy loves you or says thanks, there we go. I think I've used all the stamps so far. All right, so you might say, Marianne, what silliness is this? Oh, I'm gonna show you in a second. <laughs> if I could close my silly. Ugh. My um, nails are, are weak. So I didn't get to, there we go. I didn't get to, um, The manicurist, I do, um, what is that stuff? Gel, and then I get to a certain point when it starts to peel, and I, uh, I have no self-control, and I peel it off. Not something you wanna do, so I need to just clip that. There we go. I'm gonna take my little stamp sets. There we go. And I'm taking my acrylic block and I'm gonna put some color on that. Color on that. And this color here. There we go. the water brush pen and I think the first thing I'll do is just do a little bit of 
the uh, the base, the little the green green grass. Now let's say you wanted to do this, but you didn't want to have the, the sentiments that were there. You can always block them with a little piece of post-it note. Okay, there's that. I just wipe that off. And I'm gonna go into our color. Now the thing is, I'm doing this on what is a um, a book that would be used for mixed media, and I don't know if this is the watercolor paper side or not, but so you would need to let this absorb up and <clears throat> you can fix the shadows if you wanted to. And for some reason, my pen seems to be, I, I haven't even squeezed any water in. It just seems to be flowing pretty, pretty healthily here. But using the, this um, watercolor pen makes everything really easy. And so if you wanted to do shadows, you just go back in and make it a little darker under here and let it dry and then you can come back to it see if i pull the color here then it looks like he's got a blush and if you didn't like that you could get a towel and uh, blot it let me just get a little piece of towel speaking of which And I'll show you. All right. Let's say we want to lighten it up. This little piggy has a lighten up the sides. Leave that one mark there so he has a little bush mark. See? There we go. Okay, our last little piggy here. I'm going to start in his ears, and I'm taking up a lot of color as I do that because that's where I want it to be darker, and then under his belly and his back little leg, okay? And then pulling it down. This is all done with our ink sets. It just really, um, it is so versatile. Look at that. Isn't he adorable? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm off to the corner too much. All right, and for the kisses, just by wetting it a little bit because that's the way our, our ink is. Boom. Just making those little guys pop. All right. See, I can still come in. There's going to be a point where I'm not going to be able to move this ink anymore. But right at this moment, I'm doing okay. So I go back in. There we go. When I do coloring, I, I, we've said this before, when you color for some reason, we um, tend to focus a little bit more. It gets to be a little bit more difficult to um, 
to talk. Isn't that odd? Oh my God. I, I can't believe it. All right, so I'm gonna focus in on this one. I'm gonna use the purple and the pink, but first let's do, let's do the little guy first. Or the girl. The little piggy. Now see, I wanna smooth that out. I just add a little bit more and it blends right in. It's so easy. Kids would love it. You can make, sorry. Say hi to the chihuahuas. That was Lacey. A jackrabbit probably went through the yard. Bug is in here answering stuff. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. iced coffee because I am in the summer and let's just blend this a little bit more see this little mark right up here let's let's see if we can't blend that out now there are other markers that we have that are really nice to work with but I'm really kind of on this kick here with our inks you know I'll, I'll do that later on at another another time okay there we go all right so the purple oh gosh watch this this is going to be amazing just bring it in and then spread it around i mean i really don't even need a lot look at that i'm going to come over here and i haven't even gone back to Oh, so cute. See the shading that happened just naturally because I had a lot more ink on my on my uh, water pen. Ah, it's so cute. And I'm going to bring you back out and show you the rest as a whole. And just pop out of there. Let's see. There it is. Oh, there's so much more I can do. I know it seems very bare right now, but I'm just playing around. Just playing with the stamp set. I probably can do more. Um, you can also mask off these guys and add more to them. So if you um, stamp and then cut out maybe on some... Uh, post-it notes and then put placements on them. You can stamp more around them. Oh, it would be so adorable. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoy having you come and watch me. So remember, if you wanted any of the products that you see here, you can go to my, my store, creativemix.stampinup.net. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I showed you? I'm pointing to it. There it is. And if you do order anything, please use that hostess code. If you want explanations for all of this, send me a message below and I will tell you. Any of the products that I have here and you're, you're curious about them, um, just let me know. I'd be very happy to help you along the way. If you don't have your own independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would certainly love to be yours. I enjoy this. I hope you come again. Hey, stay tuned. I'm sure there's going to be more. Bye. If you're new to my channel and liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends so we can grow our community of crafters. As always, thank you for watching, subscribing, and until next time, remember, creating makes you smarter.